So at first I'm just going to walk Dallas around. You notice I have, I am riding him one-handed now. Uh, the uh, two-hand he still will do. It get a direct rein to go to the right. What I do is I turn to look where I'm going. Automatically puts my right leg into the side of the horse, into the, here, and brings your left leg forward. Automatically as a weight shift cue for him to turn to the right. Going to the left, same thing. Turn to look where I'm going. Cue him with the, the, the rein here. And come through. And I'm going to go back to the one-handed because that's what I've been really working with him on recently is riding one-handed. So now he's going to be neck rein. Same leg cues, but I'm going to ask him to go to the right, but I'm using my reins. Same thing, look where I'm going. Body weight shifts all together. Take him on a straight line. Ask him to hoe, and I'm asking him to hoe. Suck in my tummy. And put your heels down as a stop, and then once he, all the action comes to an end, I'm going to stop and relax. And tell him we get a good boy. And ask again to go forward. A little squeeze. And this time I'm going to make that turn to the left. Same cue with my legs. Uh, indirect rein. Right leg forward, left leg back. Look at where I'm going. And that gives him the correct body weight to make that transition turn. And then once again, I'm going to say, ho, sit back, then release on all action there. And, you know, I'm going to kind of take this assignment just a little bit differently. I'm going to do, explain to you all the training I did with Dallas and all the maneuvers that you've asked me to do. But I'm going to use a narrative report for my training uh, report and just kind of go through the things that... I did with Dallas to start him and get him broke um, under trail. First thing I did with Dallas, I mean, he was an 18-month-old Cole, got him here and immediately for his started his desensitizing training. This horse went everywhere around this ranch. As you can see, there's a lot of places here for him to go. Took him out, took him on the trail by, we just went, I put my hiking boots on. He got to know everything. The, he was all the spookiness of all the camels around here. All that stuff was done on the ground before. I even put a saddle on. And probably I'd say within the, the couple weeks of him being here, uh, I took a saddle, put it into his paddock. He has his own private paddock and allowed him to see the saddle, the pads, everything, and little by little introduced each thing to him. Yeah, within a couple weeks, um, I was able to put a saddle on him, girth him, and took him to the tie racks and stayed with him for hours if I needed to until I knew he was comfortable sitting at the tie rack with a saddle on. Never want to leave him alone to have anything ever bad happen to him there. And so once that happened, and it was time to mount Dallas. And once again, took him into his comfort zone, into his paddock. And from there, I mounted. Got on from the left and from the right. I'm going to say ho. Very important for both uh, sides to be able to have you get on and off from. So he'll stay for that side, and also I'll be able to mount him from the, le from the left side. Ho. And he doesn't move, he stands still for gain on on both sides. Problem I had at the beginning with him, with the mounting. It's going to part of my, my training, what I did. He wouldn't stand still. Immediately, foot went in the stirrups, took off on a circle correction for that. As soon as I put my foot up in the stirrup and he'd started to run off and doing his little circle, immediate jam on the rein and a big and ho. He knows what ho means. And it's just practicing over and over and over from both sides, getting on and off. That's what we did. Finally, in the paddock, he, I was able to get on and off in both directions. He's comfortable. And now the next thing is to teach him how to walk forward. So what I did was, I took my left rein, right foot, turned his head, knocked him off balance. That forced him to walk. And that's how you get them to go forward when they're first starting, ho. And if I wanted to teach him to go to the left, tip him off balance, heel the left leg. And that's how he's learned to go off. And once I had in the paddock, 
fact that I could walk him around the paddock, say ho, he stops. You know, then it was time to venture out. And from that point, I ventured out into around the ranch and we started riding around the ranch. And into um, another arena here, such as this one here at the ranch, um, where it has gates and that's where it has a fence around it where I would feel more comfortable getting on an 18. He was about 20 months at the time. And in early training, just to let you know, you know, it's not a matter of getting on the horse and hauling ass. You know, you're, you will break down a young horse if you have that kind of attitude towards it. If you take uh, the approach where you're just going to take as much time as you need, go nice and slow, never force the horse, never break a sweat, keep your training sessions very to a minimum. If it's 10, 15 minutes, he does something right, that's it for the day. Quit, you're done. Back the next day and do the same thing again. Ho. Oh. And um, you won't and you won't be overstressing the horse. Actually, you're making a better horse out of him because he's given. Dallas has had a year and a half of training. Um, he's never been overstressed, overworked, um, and the end result is just a phenomenal horse. Now that he just turned three years old, nothing's been thrown down his throat. He's not afraid of anything. There hasn't been any mistakes made. And, you know, I can attribute that to um, taking it slow and going at his pace. Next thing I want to talk about is, ho, oh, is teaching the horse to back up. You see all when everyone always trying to pull back on the reins to get him, but we're going to use the horse's natural body to get him to back up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to shorten my reins. It's going to move him back onto his hindquarters. And very simply, without any kind of fuss, do that again, he just goes straight on back. And you can you control the back with your back legs. And that's just by shortening the reins. I'm not pulling or doing anything of that nature to get him to back up. It just takes time to get that right position. You sit a little bit out of your seat and he'll come right back for you. That a boy. <laughs> 